from desolate islands to strange ancient cultures. These are the world's strangest isolated places. Number 10, the Danakil Depression. Located in the aptly named Afar region of Ethiopia, the Danakil Depression is one of the most alien places on earth, sporting slogans like hottest, lowest, driest. This area seems to be in the beta phase of life. The strange geological features of Danakil attract many brave visitors. Let's explore some of the stranger things found in the area, like the continuously active Erta Ale volcano. It has two active lava lakes, one being the longest existing on Earth. It is known locally as the Gateway to Hell, not to be confused with the Door to Hell in Turkmenistan. Which location makes a better entrance to Hell? Let me know in the comments below. I'm leaning towards Team Lava Lake. There are also some extreme salt lakes and sulfur hot springs. The Dalel Sulfur Springs have been of interest to astrobiologists. They believe that studying the microorganisms living in the springs can show us how life can form on alien planets. Number 9. Svalbard Let's go from hot 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 to freezing cold. Svalbard sits on the 81st parallel north, making it the northernmost permanently inhabited place on Earth. With a massive population of about 2,600, it is estimated that there are actually more polar bears than people on the islands. Longyearbyen is the main town in the area, and most settlers came here to work in the treacherous coal mines. By the 1990s, the area began its transformation into a tourism hub, and it's safe to say it has been successful. By 2008, Longyearbyen had 89,000 people visit it compared to only 30,000 in 1995. Yes, we will also look at the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, one of the most talked about locations on YouTube. As of February 2017, there are 930,821 total seed samples hidden deep inside the permafrost of Spitsbergen. The remote location of this seed bank creates a second layer of security, and in the event of global crisis or thermonuclear war, Chances are survivors will still have something left to plant. Number 8. Wadi Rum Wadi Rum is one very special place. Also known as the Valley of the Moon, you can experience out of this world scenery and feel like you're part of an epic adventure. This desert has become an iconic spot for Hollywood, and it all started with Lawrence of Arabia. The latest movie to shoot some out-of-this-world scenes here was none other than The Martian. So, who lives here? The local tribes are all of Bedouin descent, and until recently, lived nomadic lifestyles. Since the rise of tourism in the area, most have turned their knowledge of the Red Desert into a profession. Number 7. Great Basin National Park Nevada is one of the least populated states when you exclude Las Vegas metropolitan area, and it shows. As soon as you venture off into the sunset, you can drive and drive and drive. At some point, you might make your way to Baker, Nevada. Population, 68. Great Basin National Park is about 5 miles away from Baker, and the whole county that it resides in has a population density of 1.1 people per square mile. Great Basin is huge, and you might need a few days to experience the most interesting parts of the park. There are many sights to see, like the Layman Caves, which are mostly occupied by chipmunks, bats, and small insects. Or Wheeler Peak and the Wheeler Peak Glacier. Yeah, that's right, there's a glacier in Nevada. Of course, the biggest attraction of the park has to be the bristlecone pines. These are the trees that even time forgot. They're the oldest known non-clonal organisms. The oldest bristlecone pine, known as Prometheus, was at least 5,000 years old, but it was cut down for research purposes. Park rangers never fail to mention how truly dark it gets here at night. If you are a stargazer, know that this is one of the darkest skies in the USA. Number 6. Villa Las Estrellas Also known as the Stars Town, Villa Las Estrellas is considered to be part of Chile. It is located on King George Island and it has about 150 residents. Temperatures here average around 28 degrees Fahrenheit to 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 5. New Island 
Do you like Pokemon? How about Star Wars? Would you believe me if I said that the nation of Niue minted coins depicting characters from both? Although for the most part, the residents of this tiny island use New Zealand money, with average yearly temperatures of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, this coral island is a tropical paradise. And since 2015, every village on the island has high-speed internet. So if you're visiting during the rainy season, you can just watch YouTube videos all day. You know you want to. Don't lie to yourself. Number 4. St. Kilda St. Kilda is an archipelago located west of Scotland. It is believed that humans have resided there since the Bronze Age. But nowadays there are no permanent inhabitants. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, sorry. Scratch that. So the story goes something like this. By 1928, the native population had fallen to only 37 people. And by 1930, the community electively chose to evacuate to mainland Scotland. From 1930 on, the island was completely abandoned until 1957, when the British government decided to build a missile tracking range there. Since 1986 though, this place has become a World Heritage Site, which has helped preserve and restore a lot of its history. Number 3. Easter Island Have you seen these statues before? They are called Moai and were built by the ancient Rapa Nui people. First Western accounts of this mythical island date back to 1722, but the island is believed to have been inhabited since 300 AD. Since the 1700s, the island's population has suffered greatly, starting with what was believed to be a civil war over resources. Then the pirates and privateers came. Then Peruvian slave raiders attacked the Rapa Nui multiple times, stealing and killing. Nowadays, the situation seems to be a bit better, but there's still some disagreements between native tribes. Number 2. Sohe Massenburg Iceland, the country that's pretty much on everyone's bucket list, offers some incredible views and completely untouched nature. Let's focus on the US Navy Douglas Super DC-3 wreck site. On November 24th, 1973, the plane crash landed. There were no casualties, but due to the remoteness of the location, the plane was never recovered. Since then, it has become a somewhat popular tourist spot. Eventually, all good things must end. The local farmers that own the land have completely shut down access to the wreck since tourists did not care about the local environment. I'm sure there is a possibility of private access if you ask nicely. Hey everyone, thank you for all the nice comments. I love hearing all your stories, so don't forget to tell me what you think about this video and the strange isolated places we saw today. Before we jump into number one, here are some honorable mentions. How about Cooper Petty? This town is famous for its scenery, weird houses, the opal mines, and of course, the leftover spaceship from the movie Pitch Black. Next up we have Changtang. It's just beautiful and desolate. And since we're in the area, might as well jump over to Concordia, Pakistan, the land of mountains and glaciers. And finally, let's take a look at Point Nemo. If you're afraid of the deep dark ocean, then this place is totally not for you. Trust me on this, Point Nemo is the farthest point from any land, about 1670 miles from the nearest tiny island actually. How is that for a swim? Number 1. Tristan da Cunha At number 1, we have the actual most isolated inhabited community in the world, Tristan da Cunha. It is under British rule and sports a healthy population of 262 people. To get there, you will need to hitch a ride to Cape Town, South Africa, then get on a boat for about 6 days. And you're there. Easy peasy. What do you think? Would you be able to live in such an isolated place? Comment below, check out the video that's coming up, and subscribe for more awesome content.